Hey, it's uh, Carmine um, returning to you here on September 5th. I believe I called this... Um, I don't know what day I called it, but it's I think, I think it's Labor Day and I called it something else. Which anybody who knows me won't be surprised that that happened. Um, I wanted to return to the overcoming obstacles discussion. What I feel like I did was sort of uh, just list obstacles that I've had in my life and said that I kept going back into the gym until they were gone. And that's not really uh, how I want to express things to you guys so that you... I want you to have a tool to use. So what really worked for me was over time I had proven to myself that I had successful methods and that if I would repeat the keys and the habits associated with those methods that even if it would take a good amount of time that those habits would pay off. So it was the confidence in the knowledge that I had obtained to that point and the fact that the knowledge to that point had already at different times brought me first success in having a physique that pleased me, um, second overcoming the car crash and avoiding the back surgery, um, and third and most frighteningly is overcoming the stroke that could have uh, killed me. Um, this is a, a very unusual thing to say, but I'm going to be completely honest with you there. If that stroke had left me permanently debilitated on my left side, disfigured, um, uh, facially paralyzed, and unable to use my body, I had no idea um, what was going to happen with my life. Um, for 20 straight years at the time, I had that stroke occur. I had been an, at least a part-time and then a full-time basis working in fitness and wellness and helping people. And my body was the vessel that allowed me to not only help people with it, but to show people that, that I could do it for myself. Now, I almost... And at times I probably have said that if I was unable to recover, I haven't recovered 100% from that stroke. Um, my left hand motor functions will never be what they used to be. Um, but the most of the lingering effects are imperceptible. Um, I frequently say that I would rather have not made it through the stroke if I weren't going to recover at least to the point that I recovered uh, today or that I was going to be unable or feel trapped within a body that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Now, I say that, but I also look around me and I have a life and I'm blessed with uh, wonderful friends and family and there's so much love in my life that I'm sure I, that people would have given me the strength I needed to find a way through that as well. But that's what it felt like to me um, as a trainer as a fitness professional, as a person who works in wellness, helping people every day, um, my body is my tool to help people. So having thought I lost that, I, it was extraordinarily frightening. So um, remember, you know, so my advice to you is first of all, look for a referral to a system that has worked for someone that you know. If this, that person happens to have personality traits or a lifestyle that's similar to yours, all the better. 
um, whether it's Pilates or it's group fitness classes or it's working with a personal trainer or maybe it's going to be online here with me you are going to have to take a leap of faith those people who succeed do not succeed overnight they do not succeed in ways that can be easily measured in weeks um, I rarely get near the scale with clients for the first five to seven weeks of training um, because it seems so futile and defeating to them and I only work from the positive so you're going to have to put your trust in the habits repeat the habits and assume and know that they will yield results for you good habits the proven habits within this field are not top secret um, Sharon, I'm trying to share some of them with you every single day. Um, and they work for everybody. There are no exceptions. There are exceptions in how quickly results come. There are exceptions in what the final result looks like. But there is no exception in that if you are being honest with yourself and you're executing on positive habits... Um, in the right amount, you will receive a positive result. Is that result going to be the ultimate result that you pictured in your head? That really depends on how much you're willing to sacrifice. It's going to be a big question for me. It hasn't been a hard journey for me to get back into what I consider very good shape. The question is, can I step beyond that very good shape and get into the best shape of my life? And I already know that at times I've, I've felt exhausted and I haven't wanted to make it to the grocery store. Um, and I've relied on takeout. And I've already had moments where I was not feeling 100% maybe had lingering soreness and I skipped jujitsu the problem with that was I already skipped a workout at the gym and that meant that I only had my morning workout so what I'm trying to achieve is a very sort of elite percentile in terms of fitness results for my age and um, it does take a lot of work and a lot of commitment and that comes within lifestyle nutrition habits and exercise and also attitude and motivation and um, I have coasted into the 50% point but the closer you get to your ultimate result the more difficult and the more challenging and the more sacrifice that comes with the habits that you have to execute upon. So I'm not calling it easy, I'm just calling it possible. So many of my clients come into my studio and they say, Carmen, you know, what's best? What's the best way to get into shape? What works? And the answer is, I say to them very simply, everything. Everything works. Whether it's a combination of bodybuilding and running or it's a combination of yoga and barre bar class b a r r e barre 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 whatever it is a combination of that um, it's whatever works uh, for you but it's not any one exercise it's any not one style of workout it's not the miracle of some great marketing sign it's the miracle of setting your mind towards a goal and repetitively executing on the habits over a long period of time to get you there so people who just diet will tend to have some success 
and lose that success. In fact, it's almost scientifically guaranteed. Um, people who approach things from an exercise only thing, uh, exercise only mindset, find out one of the biggest cliches in the business, and that is that you can't out train a bad diet. So, whatever you choose or however you choose to approach changing yourself, getting to a better point in health, creating a different body, feeling better, becoming more mobile, getting on an athletic field on a softball team you want to play on, playing adult hockey. Um, getting up and down on the floor with your grandkids really easy. Um, not having to worry about your grandkids jump into your arms without your back going out. All of those are, are such worthwhile goals. And, you know, many of my clients are at the age where they have busted their butts for 50, 30 to 50 years. And retirement is coming up. And all some of them, all they want is to be able to travel and to explore the world and to see the things that they want to see. The only problem is, is we live in a world where devices like the one I'm holding in my hand can show you a picture of things. and it, But it can't give you the experience of walking up to it. Only your body can do that so really take time throughout the day before you go to sleep tonight to think about this vessel that that carries your spirit and think about how you can treat it to best serve you for your time on this little crazy spinning planet that's only on that you're only going to be on for a very short time so have a great fitness day um, please hit me up with any questions if you're finding value in these things I share with you please share them with those who need it direct them to me um, direct their questions uh, to me and any way you can support the channel uh, please do um, if you're if you're able to support the channel it will continue if I find out that there really isn't a market for it it's just back to the studio and helping uh, my clients in the studio um, I that's my first and and number one priority and my first passion um, it's just that I do have a love of helping people and if I could reach a larger audience, that was the goal with me and this effort here. So thanks for taking the time to listen. Take the time to think your way through your fitness day tomorrow. And have a great night.